Hey you, what is up all my shovel that dig? This is Savage Spades and um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a controller for your geometry dash on the computer. Now many of you probably know how to do this, but if you do not, this is a quick tutorial for you. Um, this is on here because of, oh wait, okay now it's gone. Um, basically, um, what you want to do, wait, did they come out with the update yet? No, they still haven't. <laughs> Uh, basically, what you want to do is go into your web browser. Um, I guess for me, I have to open a new tab. We go to with no um, spaces, input mapper. You go to this and make sure the description is exactly how this is because I know some people are like worried that they're that they're going to get a virus from something. Actually, I will leave this link in the description to prove that this is true. So you go to the input mapper home. You will click on download. There's input mapper 1.5 in the beta, but I just use the input mapper 1.5. Now you're gonna click download, and you're gonna have to like trust everything. And this it's gonna say input mapper 1.6.10. Um, these are the things that it's coming up with. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. This is it. It's going to be with 134 votes right now. This one is actually I'm going to read five stars because I actually really, really like this. Um, so yeah, all of this stuff will happen. Then, um, after you download it and install it, um, a thing on the screen will come up. Yeah, it'll come up for, for me. It came up like right here, but it's going to have a picture of a guy holding a controller and it's going to have something coming off of it. I don't know. You open this. And this right here is like what it looks like. All you have to do from here is, you, I don't know about other people, I don't know if they have like chargers for the controllers that they plug in, but what I do is I use a wired Xbox One controller. You plug it into your laptop, computer, whatever you use, and you're you're now connected. And uh, actually, let me close out of geology dash real quick. Um, you make sure it's plugged in all the way. I don't think anything comes up. Then you go back to Geometry Dash. And you will know that this has worked if it has like L. Like right now I'm moving the mouse with my, with my uh, left stick. Press A to click on stuff, for example. Or you can just press Y, Start, and X for like the character selection and crap. Uh, you can do all this. And stuff. For now, I'm just gonna stick to what I had and be like, um, hold on. It is kind of hard. I usually, I prefer using the mouse if you want to, but because I like to be laid back, I just stay far away from the computer. Um, yeah, of course, I'm customizing my character. What do we do? I'm gonna go with a new color that I've never used before. I think I'm gonna use this and then uh, this icon. Or this. I like this better. Alright, uh, enough with that. Uh, for example, if I, and by the way, this is accurate 100%. Like, um, well, I don't know about wireless controllers, if you plug that in, if it would work. But for example, like for Drawbreaker, the timing when I click my button, when I click it, it's like perfect. There's like almost no delay in it. And I love it so much. Okay, that was a weird glitch that just happened. It's not supposed to happen. It's not supposed to send you that high. You're supposed to bounce down from that. That is really weird. I do that every single time I play this level. Oh, because I wasn't I wasn't hitting the edge first. But yeah, guys. Um. Hold on, let me finish up this attempt. And actually, I'm very new to playing the controller on Geometry Dash. Oh my gosh, no, I can't. So, okay, um, blah, 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 blah. Alright guys, well that's gonna be it for this video. Um, if you liked it, uh, please leave a like it down below. Really, I'd really appreciate it. Um, this tutorial. I originally got this idea from Eric Van Wilderman, so I, okay, and just a little disclaimer, because I know everyone's probably going to do this, even the people who, 
like, okay. One, I did not make Input Mapper. Two, I have no relationship or any kind to Eric Van Wilberman or the developers of anything else. I don't know. It's just, I want people to know that I didn't make this because I know everyone always comments. You're saying you made it, aren't you? Yeah. No. I didn't make this. It's just a really cool application. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this recording. Um, I will see you guys next time. Peace.